Peace, power, positivity. It is pep talk. I am back again. Guys, thank you for tuning in for another video. All right, let's get straight to it today. So, if you live for other people and you're scared about what other people think, you are constantly living in fear. And if you are constantly living in fear, you will never become the best version of yourself. Because think about it, guys. What? Let's just let's just rewind for a second. Let's thought of a time where you have wanted to do something, but there's a fear of holding you back. Um, this could be anything, by the way. So, a lot of people want to start up businesses. What's a fear that they have? They're going to fail. They're going to lose money. They're self-esteem is going to go out the drain if the business doesn't take off they're not patient so many reasons but it's basically going down to fear why don't people travel to places i know we can't travel now but why don't people travel to places that are considered more challenging fear fear of getting uh, lost fear of the unknown fear of the unknown Fear of the unknown is a massive fear that everyone goes through today. But in relation to this, in relation to this video, guys, in relation to this video, you will never become the best version of yourself if you care about what other people think. You guys have to understand one thing that nobody actually cares. Like real talk, nobody cares. We are living in a society where every single person is stuck in their own bubble. Think about the average Joe, right? The average Joe, the average Jill, especially my age, you know, I'm late 20s. So just think about the average Joe and Jill. They have a job. They most likely are paying rent or sometimes they'll have a family. Uh, they're so caught up on their social media. Well, that's a hot topic for a whole nother video. So that's four things that they're thinking about over what you are doing, okay? And the ones that are thinking about what you are doing, they don't have anything going for them. Nothing. Because why would they waste their time worrying about someone else? Particularly about someone else that they don't really know or don't really care about. That's what I was going back to saying before. It's what I was saying before. Nobody actually gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck of what you do and if they do oh well that is their problem because i'll tell you something there's so many opportunities to do whatever you want on this planet there's so many avenues to find your purpose if that person that's hating on you or is giving you some sort of judgmental looks or comments if if you're telling them about what you want to achieve or they found out you want to achieve let's be real if that's the only thing they can think about in that moment, then they really don't have much else going on, guys. You can't let other people dictate your dreams. You can't do it. It's happened to me. I had a lot of self-confidence issues because I didn't believe in myself. And I think a lot of that, well, not a thing, I know a lot of that came down to, you know, comments that were made to me maybe in early high school. You know, I didn't, wouldn't say I was bullied, but... I'm an empath and I think that certain comments I took to heart and, you know, your childhood basically shapes the person that you are as an adult. So obviously you take these certain things to adulthood and that is why a lot of people have self-confidence issues in their adult life, whether that be from instances where they weren't told they weren't good enough at school or at home, it's all generally the same. Do not let other people think, throw you off your path, guys. You think and you act however you want to act, okay? What I find works for me is that nowadays, I put my faith in the most high, I put my faith in the universe. As I've said in previous videos, I don't mind or I don't care whether that be the most high as in the universe or that be some sort of religious figure. You guys can believe whatever you wanna believe. I'm not the type of person to judge. What I'm trying to say to you is that put your faith into something, okay? Again, I'm not religious, but I put my faith in the Most High. And guys, when 
I do the affirmations in the morning and when I meditate, I give thanks to the Most High, as I've mentioned in other videos in the past, but I also ask for help. I also ask for help. Please guide me on this journey of life. Please guide me in my day-to-day -day challenges that I may face and please ensure that I understand that you are leading me on the right path. If you raise your vibration, if your vibration is higher and it gets higher and higher and higher, you will think more clearly and in turn you will have more trust in the most high, which in turn you will have more trust within yourself and what you want to achieve and what obstacles and barriers you need to overcome to achieve your goals. And because of that and your faith in the most high, you're not really going to care what old mate Jack or Jill says down the road. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not going to care because you're so uh, intertwined with your purpose and you're so, you have a lot of belief in the most high and how, how you've been guided that you're not really going to care about anyone else at the end of the day. The people that put other people down, it's all, it all stems from insecurities. Okay. Why as a really, really basic stereotype, a lot of the larger kids in primary school are the ones that are bullies. I've seen it. I work with children now. Why do you think that is? It's because they have an insecurity of being obese, fat, whatever. And then what do they do? They don't have the ability to internalize it and to use that um, uh, self-conscious thoughts to make themselves better. So what do they do instead? They take the easy way out, which is having or making, having a go or making a comment, someone else. Having a go or making a comment for someone else. Just don't let people get to you. Just tunnel vision everything. I don't even, you know, tunnel vision. I don't even know what I'm doing with my hands, but I was trying to show you tunnel vision. Tunnel vision everything. If that person is taking their valuable time because remember everyone has the same 24 hours in a day that person is using some of their valuable time to put you down for your dreams and what you want to achieve best believe they more likely than not don't have any going for them and if they do have some going for them they are not confident in it because they're like, oh, I'm not doing so well, so I'll feel better by putting this guy down because he has the same dreams as me, but I'm not doing well, so I'm gonna take my insecurities out on some other random. That should sum it up for you, that the only people that really do that sort of behavior, act that way, is that they've got massive insecurities for themselves. Don't get me wrong, listen to the people that are closest in your life. Listen to your parents, listen to your friends. But at the end of the day, at the same time, your friends sometimes don't have your best interests. Lucky for me, I have a very, very good group of friends, brothers, sisters, whatever you want to call them. I have a very tight family unit. So for me, I am lucky. However, not everyone is in that situation. So therefore, Sometimes don't even listen to your friends and your family. If you have a dream, just go for it. Take constructive criticism from your friends and your family if they have your best interests. But if they do not have your best interests, obviously don't do it. Only you know yourself the way you do. People can claim all they want. Your girlfriend can, your parents can, your mum can, your friends can. They don't actually know. And that goes back to what I was saying earlier in one of the previous uh, points that I made in this video is that everyone's so stuck in their bubble that they don't actually care or they don't have the energy to really know what's going on. You have the energy to know what's going on because you are living it day to day. You won't have any idea about what some other person is doing day to day. You may have a brief idea on the surface, but in depth knowledge, you don't have any idea because everyone's so caught up in their bubble in life. Guys, I'm always busy. I've always got stuff going on. How do you think I have any remote time to think about hypothetically someone that I work with of, oh, why isn't he doing, why is he not chasing his dreams this way? 
And why is he acting like that? That's not going to work. Do you honestly think I have the time? Do you think people have the time? You know, I'm on my purpose and fantastic that I am. I haven't always been. There's some people that are getting there. There's some people that aren't on their purpose. But even the people that aren't on their purpose, they're so consumed by trivial things such as social media, uh, reality TV, any of these sort of subjects that do you really think they're going to sit at home and think, uh, why is he doing that? Why is he going for his dream like that? No. Yeah, they'll make a comment on the spot. But as I said, it comes from A, insecurities, which is the main reason. Sometimes it comes from boredom. And sometimes it comes from self-hatred, which is kind of interlinked with insecurity. Okay. I just wanted to put this video out there. Yes, I did ramble a bit, but I feel very strongly about this. Do not let other people throw you off because at the end of the day, they don't know yourself like you know yourself. This is Pep Talk, peace, power, positivity. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next one.